Hello all, my name is Krishnag and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll discuss why data structure is very, very important for each and every programmer. Now, I'm not talking with respect to data science. I'm not talking with respect to web-based uh, developer or some kind, other kind of developer, right? I'm just take, talking in a generic way. But I'll give you some example of data scientists also, how data structures can be important. Because many of your subscribers are basically asking this particular question. So if I'm planning to move towards data science, should we have good knowledge about data structures or not? So before going ahead, guys, let me just make, uh, clear some doubts regarding this. Now, when I talk about two topics over here, one is data structure and the other one is algorithm, right? Now, many of the people, whenever I talk about data structure, they'll be thinking algorithm also as a part of it. But just try to understand, guys. Here, data structure, some of the examples of data structures are arrays, you know, list, and you have tuples, you have sets, you have dictionaries, you have queues, you have stacks. So these are the examples of data structure. And why this data structure are basically used? They are used for storing some data, some variable, some value, you know. And when we are using these data structures in a set of instruction, such that the it helps us to execute some task very efficiently, at that time we'll call that as an algorithm. Right. So this is the basic difference between data structure and algorithm. Some of the algorithms that I would like to specify in a generic way, I think everybody knows about it, are selection sort. Right. Sorting algorithms. You have merge sort, you have selection sort. Right. You have uh, binary search sort. So a lot of algorithms are already present. And in, within this algorithm, you are in short using different kind of data structures. Right. It is very important to understand. Now the question rises that whether you should be good at algorithm or first you have to be good at data structures, right? Guys, remember some of the algorithms like selection sort, merge sort, right? Now it is coming with respect to different, different programming language. They are coming as an inbuilt functions. So first of all, before learning any technology, you have to be sure about the data structures because if you know about the data structures, you will get the logic to write the code efficiently. Okay. And if you have how that particular data structure works again, okay? and if I just take an example with respect to data scientist, now where does this data structure comes when you are actually working with respect to data scientist? You know that we have something called a data analysis and data pre-processing stage. Over there, you'll be using data structures like uh, data frames. You'll be using data structures like arrays, list, tuples, sets, right? For performing some particular function. Now, when you have those ideas about that particular data structure, you will be able to use them, write a very good code, right? And I'm not just talking about any algorithm over there, okay? Suppose I'm writing some custom logic code. And when I'm writing that, I know how the data is basically coming. I can basically use data structures and try to efficiently write that particular code so that I get the output very quickly. Nowadays also, even companies like Amazon, Google, right? Your first round of interview will be with respect to data structures and algorithms. They'll tell you how to write a very good sorting algorithm. What is the worst case of the time, right? How fast it can get executed? What is the best case? So they'll try to ask all this particular question. Then in the second and third round, they'll go into your domain knowledge. Always remember that many students has been asking me, so is data structures required? I will say definitely yes, because if you have the knowledge of data structure, right, you will be able to learn any programming language very quickly and you'll be able to apply your own logic. Let me just give you an example of myself. When I just passed out of my college after my placement was done, you know, when I was about to write a real world scenario code, right, for implementing the logic, it used to take a lot of time because I was not sure about the data structures properly. Then I learned that. You know, I gained that momentum to write efficient code. Take an example of why Amazon and Google will be focusing on data structures. Just take an example of Google search, guys. If you're typing some, co uh, some, some, some query in the search engine, how much time it takes for your response to come from there? Somewhere around milliseconds, right? In the same case, if you just take an example of Amazon.in, where you do a lot of online shopping, if you're searching for some product, how much milliseconds it will take to just bring down your query and show you all the results? Milliseconds. How it is basically happening? There is data structures that is involved. Apart from that, they have internally written their own algorithms. Right? Now, in case of data science, in case of machine learning, in case of deep learning, we know that in machine learning, we have uh, various algorithms, right? 
inside that algorithms also you are using different different data structures you are using different different code right efficient code to basically implement that algorithm so data structures is important now if i say that in data pre processing only after you load the data from a csv file or from some external database you need to do lot of things over there right that is what i say feature engineering you have to handle the missing values right that time you have to basically play with the data frame like if i take an example of pandas you are basically converting that data set into a data frame right and data frame is one of the data structures that is uh, come through that library called as pandas and sometimes you need to convert that into an array to apply some different kind of operations sometimes you may also have to convert that into list so it is very very important that you understand that guys data structure is important because it will help to build you uh, it will give you the knowledge of how to write logic or uh, how to basically implement an efficient code and that is the main aim of every programmer guys remember right because in companies also you will be having a senior person who will be reviewing your code and he will be giving you comments okay why you have used multiple for loops over here can't you just write an efficient code with respect to this right so that 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 custom code that you are basically writing is basically your logic and you should try to write that code in such a way that it should take less amount of time to get executed and that is where your best case scenario and your worst case scenario with respect to time constraint will come if you remember omega big o notation right many of them have heard about that in engineering right and at that time i just used to learn this but when i got a chance to implement in the real world scenario i understood all the concept so guys remember data structure is important okay i know in data science in machine learning you have the machine learning algorithm built but still you'll require this data structures efficiently in the data pre processing stage let it be feature engineering or feature selection right this is very very important to understand so i hope you like this particular videos guys please do subscribe the channel if you have not already subscribed and uh, thank you for supporting uh, i've just reached 40k and please keep supporting guys this i'll come with up with very interesting content i'll definitely be you know always ready to help you out with respect to your queries provide you more and more knowledge so thank you one and all i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you